Dual stacked LCDs allow light field display. Here we show a conventional parallax barrier. Note that the front mask containing a pinhole array significantly reduces brightness. In this work, we cast light field display as a matrix approximation problem, leading to new content adaptive barriers. Here we show one such barrier pair. Note that the average transmission is significantly greater than conventional barriers. To move beyond heuristic parallax barriers, we consider dual stacked LCDs as general spatial light modulators. Both layers act in concert to recreate a target light field. Here we show that the emitted light field is given by the outer product of the front and rear masks. Note that for pinhole arrays, the majority of columns are dark, leading to dim, low resolution images. Also note that the resulting light field must be rank 1. Time multiplexing using translated pinhole arrays can compensate for resolution loss, but the display will remain dim. A rank T light field approximation can be achieved by multiplexing T mask pairs. Our analysis allows non-binary opacities on both mask layers. Light field display using dual stacked LCDs can be cast as a matrix approximation problem. We introduce a weight matrix, W, to emphasize certain views in the optimization. Note that light field compression can be achieved by using a reduced set of masks. We solve this optimization problem using a non-negative matrix factorization. Here we show the intermediate optimization results. Note that smooth masks are obtained following the procedure described in Figure 11 from our paper. The emitted light field closely approximates the target light field. The resulting content adaptive barriers enable increased display brightness and refresh rates in comparison to conventional parallax barriers. We constructed a stack of two off-the-shelf 120Hz LCD panels. We used a pair of ViewSonic Fusion LCDs with a resolution of 1680 by 1050. The panels were disassembled, as shown here, and stacked one on top of the other. Here we show the most challenging step, removing the polarizing films from the front LCD. Once assembled, the panels were separated by 1.5 centimeters. For a scene with five horizontal and three vertical views, our display supports a field of view of 11 by 7 degrees. Here we show experimental results shot with a handheld camera viewing our prototype from a distance of 3 meters. This sequence is displayed using time-shifted pinhole arrays. Numbers increase as the viewer moves from left to right and top to bottom. Here we show the same light field displayed with our content-adaptive parallax barriers. Here we confirm that adaptation enables brighter display. Note that adaptive barriers along the bottom row are three times brighter than pinholes. Adaptation also allows light field compression. This enables higher refresh rates. Note that with only five time multiplexed frames, the motion is smoother but more noisy. This set of crossed colored stripes is used to characterize the color crosstalk of our dual layer prototype. Note the angularly varying attenuation and color mixing. A strong moray pattern is also apparent, manifesting as dark vertical bands. We reduce moray in our prototype by inserting an additional diffuser between the two layers. Conventional parallax barriers exhibit periodic view replication. Here the camera passes beyond the central field of view. Note that the views wrap. In contrast, our barriers do not create periodic view replication. Parallax barriers have persisted nearly unchanged since their introduction over a century ago. 
Using a light field analysis, we recognize the inherent rank constraints for barrier displays. Our proposed content adaptive barriers, while sharing these constraints, allow a novel trade-off between brightness, frame rate, and reconstruction accuracy, illustrating the potential of compressive displays.